Cowboys, Eagles. It's rivalry week, y'all. It's rivalry week. Ah, we talk predictions in week 10. And we also dive into this huge NFC East rivalry. With that being said, you already know what I'm about to say. Cue music. where we give our epic perspective in the imperfect sports world. Now let me introduce you to the colors handling the game. First, first, he runs two for fame, y'all. He runs two for fame. Dallas Cowboys fan, Dallas Cowboys realist, Yankees fan, Yankees realist, my guy, my guy, Daryl T. What's good with you, fella? Oh, man, I can't complain. Can't complain at all. Blessed and highly favored. You know what I mean? My God. My God. Next. Next. He's been drawing up a lot of them great plays. Like I told you a couple weeks ago, he had the Hail Mary. And now he's sitting back drawing these plays. But we figure he thinks he's a little bit stuck right now because he's drawing plays for the Dallas Cowboys and it just isn't working out. But he's still our coach. And he's still my guy, my guy, Coach Twilight. What's good with you, fella? Paint the season, get Shadour, draft up, get Travis Hunter. He's got a line. Kick Micah Parsons to the curb, get rid of C.D. Lamb, and get rid of Dak Prescott. Blow this shit up. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Coldest panel in the game. And you know me, Michael C., the source of life over the mic. You know what you need to do. Hit that like and subscribe button. It's only $3.99. Ah, uh, let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Ah, uh, the NFC East rivalry between Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. Let's get right into it. Coach, what do you expect in this NFC East rivalry game this Sunday? I just want the season to be over. Just, you know, just, just end it. But to be honest with you, Cooper Rush for president, baby. He's way better than Dak ever's going to be. <laughs> Trust me. I'm for Cooper Rush, baby. And we might have a running game coming. Yes. Here, I want to know, how, how do you feel the Dallas Cowboys will overcome such a huge obstacle in this game? I mean, honestly, I don't think they will. But I do remember there's this uh, season in history. I think it was Troy Aikman's rookie season. We went 1-15. and 15. One of those wins were against the uh, Commanders, and they were one win out the playoffs. I brought that type of history up because if somehow we pull out a victory on Sunday, by Tuesday, y'all might be having an interim head coach. Hmm. Hmm. Coach Twilight, talking about coaches, which coach do you think is is on the most on the hot seat right now? Is it Nick Sirianni or is it Mike McCarthy? The whole damn Dallas Cowboys staff. <laughs> it's not one coach. It's the whole damn staff. <laughs> but Mike McCarthy, he will take most of that heat. But it's the whole damn staff and Will McCoy. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I want to ask you this, Daryl. What does the Cowboys have to do to win this game? I mean, they got to win in the trenches. If they win in the trenches on the O line, then they could maybe formulate some sort of uh, run game. If they could actually get pressure on uh, Jalen and maybe not get so many like QB draws or get them, like, at least contain them in the pocket, I'd say keep Saquon maybe under like 110, 100. 
which I don't think is going to happen. But I mean, I don't know if AJ Brown could be there. Devontae Smith could be their number one, but I don't, I don't know who's even playing for the Cowboys at this point. Like everybody on the injury report, there's more people on the injury report than are available. It seems. Hmm. Hmm. I know what you're going to say about this coach, but I'm going to ask you this question anyway. What do you think the kind of impact Micah is going to have on on this game coming back from a high sprain ankle injury? What we're hoping is a high impact. What we're going to get is mediocrity. Everybody who reads and knows what to do does what they supposed to do and run right at Micah. Micah is not the dominant force that he once was. They paid the NFL defense, offensive coordinators to figure out how to um, – Contain. Not even contain. How to stall Micah. Once you stall him, then it takes him a very long time for him to warm his engine up. Interesting. What do you think that the Achilles heel right now, the Dallas Cowboys, Daryl? Everything. I what? mean, what's what's not the Achilles heel? The secondary is the Achilles heel. They don't have no linebackers. That's the Achilles heel. They're one top two D linemen are out, so their D line is is atrocious right now. Their O line isn't great. The left side's atrocious. No run game. No quarterback. CDs out. Jake Ferguson playing to a level that is below his standard. Correct. So CD I, I, is in. Oh, CD's in. All right, that's a bet. That's a bet. But like, I mean. I'd say outside of the maybe like CD being there, I just said all six units are bad. Like our best unit is special teams. And if you end the season when your best unit is special teams, you're not making the playoffs. Like that's not, it's just not happening. Coach, I want you to fill out this blank. The Cowboys' biggest fear this week is? The Cowboys' biggest fear this week is? That we win. <laughs> Epic win. Yeah. Please no. You're delaying the inevitable if that's the case. You're yeah, just delaying the inevitable. The <laughs> Send it. Blow the season up. I mean, Please. Bro, I, I we're, mean, we're hurting over here. <laughs> we're hurting, but we're hurting worse. I saw, and I don't mean to give you this long winded answer, uh, but if you let cut that, Cut CD, cut Micah, and trade up in the draft and just go right for the number one pick. You save about eighty million dollars in in tax. I mean, in uh, cap space. All right, more than that. Uh -huh. well, right, you'll save eighty million. I didn't say you what we have, but eighty million would be saved. Let me ask you this, Coach. With the Eagles in full force at 6-2, and two, one of the hottest teams in the NFL, and they're on a four-game winning streak, what do you expect from the Philadelphia Eagles? I expect them to put 50 on the damn board. If they don't put 50, I'm driving down. I'm driving to Dallas and slapping the offensive coordinator of the Philadelphia Eagles. Darrell, what do you expect from the Eagles this week? Uh, what I don't expect is their uh, head coach to have them ready. What I do expect is the players to be ready because they are the type of players that will get ready regardless. I don't expect their head coach to have a good game plan. I expect the uh, players to have explos explosive plays. And I think the explosive plays are probably going to be the ones called by Kellen Moore and the really stupid plays that you could see every single week are going to be called by Nick Sirianni. Y'all will lose if you let Nick Sirianni call stupid plays, 100%. Now, Daryl, you said they expect that A.J. Brown will be back. <sighs> they expect Dallas Goddard is going to be back. Looking at your secondary, how do you think they're going to have to prepare for this game? 
Oh, I mean, they they began toasting all year. <laughs> Man, that's like watching a youth program play the NFL. Yeah. <laughs> they began toasted all year. <laughs> they, I don't really expect Let me go get different. some jam. <laughs> okay, uh, Diggs is gonna is gonna go like he's gonna do something to try to get an interception. And it's end up gonna be like a fifty sixty yard completion. He might Let get a get pick. Jam. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this, Coach. With Dak out for at least four weeks with a torn hamstring, what will this offense look like with Cooper Rush? Much better. Efficient. <laughs> Why? More cohesive. Somebody with some heart. I mean, players I got believe. Things. Players actually believe in him. Dirty, you Not here for a paycheck. Here for the real game. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yes. Mm. Okay. Okay. Cooper Rush is a leader. All right. Jared, do you see the Dallas, Dallas defense stopping the Eagles running game this week? I mean, no. I mean, do I see anybody in all of football stopping Saquon Barkley? No, especially one of the worst defenses in all of football. No, I don't expect one of the worst defenses to stop the second best running back and possible MVP candidate at the moment. Coach, you guys, you guys do have C.D. Lamb, has a shoulder injury, but he is definitely he's going to definitely play. He's pointing towards him playing. If you guys had no C.D. Lamb, who, who do you think they would have to point to in the passing game? It'd be more of a running game. There is no number two. Hell, barely is a number one. It'd be a running game. It wouldn't be no passing going on. That would probably make sense. That would definitely probably make sense. I want to ask you, Daryl, and then I'm going to ask you the same question, Coach. Which Dallas star do you predict to have or even anticipate to have a good game this, this Sunday? The same one that always does, probably C.D. Lamb. <laughs> Just because they're going to throw it to him 15 times. Hmm. Coach, who do you think? Cooper Rush. Cooper Rush. <laughs> Cooper Rush. Right. I want to get you guys predictions of this game. First, Daryl, give me your prediction of, of this game. Eagles, Cowboys. Um, Cowboys, uh, Cowboys win 24-21. Eagles, Cowboys. Who you got, Coach? First, we need to drug test Daryl. Secondly, um, <laughs> I'm going 45 to 10 Eagles. <laughs> I got 37-21, Eagles. Eagles. Have any last words, fellas? Daryl. Oh, can't wait till the draft. Coach. I'm waiting. I've been waiting for the draft. I'm waiting for the offseason to begin. Wait, yeah. Mark. He's not Mark so you, yet already. Come on, y'all. You could you up. could maybe pull out the Cowboys and the same teams would still make the playoffs. Like we don't really got to play anymore, really. There it is. There it is. It's the coldest panel in the game. Both Cowboys fans not really liking their chances against the Philadelphia Eagles. Shout out, to Shady. Baby. Shout out to Shady making the Eagles ring of honor. My guy, my guy, Harrisburg, very own. Ooh. Harrisburg, very own. You already know. You already know. My guy, my guy. With that being said, thank you for watching the Skybox exclusively on YouTube.
If you have any thoughts, questions, or concerns, email us at the one, the number one skybox at gmail.com. It's me, Michael C, the source of life, over the mic. I got Punk Twilight, I got Daryl P. With that being said, I'm gonna leave you with each more word. Now let's make it happen. Yo, boys. I go. I go. I go. Let's make this epic. If you like this episode, just see what the Eagles been doing in the NFC East, especially against the New York Giants.